Hi, 61 Wildcats. I hope you're doing really well today. Um, I am going to show you the procedure, the experimental procedure for the paper towel experiment. So I have a graduated cylinder here. This is what I'm going to use to measure the amount of liquid that was absorbed by the paper towel. And this is the measuring cup with water. I just colored it red so that it would show up better in the graduated cylinder. And this is a dish to throw away my paper towel in, my wet paper towel in. And I've got the paper towel. Um, I've got all five paper towels cut to the exact same dimensions. So I'm going to put the paper towel in here and I'm going to measure 100 milliliters in the graduated cylinder. There is exactly 100 milliliters of water in the graduated cylinder. And I'm going to pour it in to the dish, glass baking dish. And I'm gonna set my timer and let it sit for 20 seconds. After it sits for 20 seconds, I'm going to pull it out and let it drip for 20 seconds. And I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put this in here for now. It's water. And I'm going to pour the remaining water. There used to be 100 milliliters in here. Pour this into the measuring glass measuring cup. And now I'm going to pour this into the graduated cylinder. This is the water that was left behind, the water that was absorbed by the paper towels in the paper towel. So I'm going to pour this in here, the graduated cylinder. And as you can see, I can hold this up for you. I don't know if you can see that but it is right about, looks like 72, 72 milliliters was not absorbed. Okay, so you can do your math now. You take 100, subtract 72, and you're left with 28. So, 20, so 28 milliliters was absorbed by that particular paper towel. Now I will do the same procedure, I will repeat this procedure for the other four paper towels. And a good idea is always, scientists don't do just one trial, they do many, many, many trials. Sometimes scientists will experiment for years and run the same experiment, especially if they're using people, they might experiment on such a uh, very large sample of people over a period of about 10 years and collect their data and then they'll make a decision as to whether or not that drug that they're testing is um, efficient and if it works. Um, they wanna make sure that it's not dangerous, that it's not gonna harm people or at least um, have the least side effects. So I hope that helps you to understand. I'll see you soon.